Do remember that Monsanto told us their Agent Orange was safe and so were their PCBs that were later found to be virtually indestructible, unbiodegradable, and ended up poisoning the Antarctic. Nobel science was that. Now how do Monsanto GMO products affect our bodies? One answer may not surprise you. GMO Roundup laced crops, also laced with Bt, another weed killer toxin, in every cell of a GMO organism, are now known to affect permanent changes in our gut bacteria mix. You are not surprised. Now here is a discussion, from a science mag, on what a serious effect our gut bacteria have on our moods. Bus Monsanto is messing with our moods. Spotlight on Psychobiotics the mind-altering effects of gut bacteria are finally being understood, this knowledge offers a new way to improve our mental health. We have all experienced the influence of gut bacteria on our emotions. Just think how you felt the last time you had a stomach bug. Now it is becoming clear that certain gut bacteria can positively influence our mood and behavior. The way they achieve this is gradually being uncovered, raising the possibility of unlocking new ways to treat neurobehavioral disorders such as depression and obsessive compulsive disorder, OCD. We acquire our intestinal microbes immediately after birth and live in an important symbiotic relationship with them. There are far more bacteria in your gut than cells in your body, and their weight truffly equals that of your brain. These bacteria have a vast array of genes capable of producing hundreds, if not thousands of chemicals, many of which influence your brain. In fact, bacteria produce some of the same molecules as those used in brain signaling, such as dopamine, serotonin, and gamma aminobutyric acid, GABA. Furthermore, the brain is predominantly made of fats, and many of these fats are also produced by the metabolic activity of bacteria. In the absence of gut bacteria, brain structure and function are altered. Studies of mice reared in a germ-free environment with no exposure to bacteria, show that such mice have alterations in memory, emotional state and behavior. They show autistic patterns of behavior, spending as much time focusing on inanimate objects rather than on other mice. This behavioral change is driven by alterations in the underlying brain chemistry. For example, dramatic changes in serotonin transmission are seen, together with changes in key molecules, such as brain-derived neurotrophic factor, which plays a fundamental role in forming new synapses. These findings give way to the notion of probiotics, bacteria with a health benefit. Probiotics were first proposed by Russian biologist Eli Metknikov, who, in the early 1900s, observed that people living in a region of Bulgaria, who consumed fermented food tended to live longer. However, it now seems that certain bacteria, dubbed psychobiotics, might have a mental health benefit, too. Although the field of psychobiotics is in its infancy, there are already promising signs. Last year, for instance, researchers from the California Institute of Technology in Pasadena showed that when the bacterium Bacteroides fragilis was given early in life, it corrected some of the behavioral and gastrointestinal deficits in a mouse model of autism. And previous reports indicate that Bifidobacterium infantis is effective in an animal model of depression. Microbiota with personality. The transplantation of fecal microbes, FMT, from a healthy individual into a recipient has emerged as an effective treatment for life-threatening Clostridium difficile infection. The success of this approach has focused attention on FMT to treat gastrointestinal, immune and metabolic disorders, but could be useful in treating neuropsychiatric conditions too. Intriguingly, a 2011 study by Canadian researchers showed that anxious mice have different microbiota compared with normal mice, and that transplantation of their microbiota into normal mice makes the normals anxious, and vice versa. If such effects can be translated to humans, they have marked implications for development of microbial-based therapies for mental disorders. It also means that would-be FMT donors would need to be screened for mental health issues, as well as infectious disease. Now how exactly do gut bacteria influence the brain? The mechanisms are becoming clear. The bacterium Lactobacillus rhamnosus, which is used in dairy products, has potent anti-anxiety effects in animals, and works by changing the expression of GABA receptors in the brain. These changes are mediated by the vagus nerve, which connects the brain and gut. 
when this nervous severed no effect on anxiety or on GABA receptors is seen following psychobiotic treatment with thyramnosus. l ramnosus has also been shown to alleviate OCD-like behaviors in mice. Interestingly, this bacterium not only alters GABA receptors in the brain, but has been shown to synthesize and release GABA. Other evidence supports the view that gut bacteria may influence the brain in roots other than the vagus nerve by altering the immune system and via the manufacture of short-chain fatty acids, for example. Just as certain genes render bacteria pathogenic, it is likely that clusters of genes within gut bacteria provide mental health benefits. However, the essential genes for effective psychobiotics have yet to be established. It may be that, in the future, the ideal psychobiotic will be a genetically modified organism containing genes from several different bacteria. Provided by Monsanto, who brought us a agent orange no thanks. In the meantime, cocktails of bacteria are likely to be more effective than single strains in producing health benefits. For example, a 2011 study showed that a combination of Lactobacillus helveticus and Bifidobacterium longum reduced anxiety and depressive symptoms in healthy volunteers. A 2013 neuroimaging study showed that a fermented milk product containing four different probiotic bacteria was associated with the reduced response of a brain network involved in the processing of emotion and sensation, and certain strains of bacteria can reduce the symptoms of irritable bowel syndrome, a common stress-related disorder of the brain-gut axis. This is probably achieved through a reduction in levels of the stress hormone cortisol and of inflammatory molecules produced by the immune system. These findings are promising, but we are still a long way from the development of clinically proven psychobiotics, and it remains to be seen whether they are capable of acting like, or perhaps even replacing, antidepressants. At a time when prescriptions for antidepressants have reached record levels, effective natural alternatives with fewer side effects would be welcome. We are currently completing a study of the gut microbiota in people with severe depression. If we find consistent alterations, this will provide a strong rationale for targeting depression with a suitable psychobiotic. We are also about to start a placebo-controlled study of Lactobacillus brevis in treating anxiety in healthy volunteers. We must, however, sound a note of caution. Despite market and claims to the contrary, most putative probiotics have no psychobiotic activity. Until recently, lax regulation in both the U.S. and the European Union allowed manufacturers to make outlandish claims without supporting data. This situation is changing and will protect consumers from fraudulent marketing, but the reality is that only a small percentage of bacteria tested have positive neurobehavioral effects. Naturopaths knew all this 30 years ago. Some bacteria fail to survive storage in the health food store or are eliminated by acidity in the stomach. Even if they do survive gut transit, they may be devoid of health benefits. In the 20th century the major focus of microbiological research was on finding ways to kill microbes via antibiotics. This century the focus has changed somewhat with recognition of the health benefits of bacteria, not just from an immunity perspective, but from a mental health one. Psychobiotics have enormous potential. Summarizing, you have more gut bacteria than bodily cells, and they are as heavy as your brain. What happens in our gut may have profound effects on what happens in our mind. GMO Roundup laced crops, also laced with Bt, another weed killer toxin, in every cell of a GMO organism, are now known to affect permanent changes in our gut bacteria mix. Recall Monsanto also said Agent Orange was safe, and their highly toxic indestructible poisonous PCBs were safe. Do you want to trust them again? By eating their unlabeled GMO foods? No way. Links below to adverse effects from GMO foods.